Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode. In this episode, we are doing something that you guys have been requesting for quite a while, and I apologize that it took so long because I've been wanting to do this for a while, but we are going to focus on the family tree, specifically the family tree of the royal family of Windenburg, and I'm really excited. Um, but before we start today, just be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you get notifications when we post another video. Um, so why don't we go ahead and begin? So the beginning of this is a little bit confusing and I was trying to recall how exactly this worked because we started with Queen Ravenna and she was the evil queen. She was um, she was a vampire. She was definitely evil for sure. Um, and when she was she was originally married to King Henry um, and then King Henry, I don't I guess he like wasn't evil really in nature um but she ended up having an affair and i like so i'm confused because some of her kids are showing up like she had two other girls um and and they were kind of cast off so she had the two other girls with king henry but then she ended up marrying king arthur um and then they and then he was evil um and then they had three kids together so as you can see um when we press on king henry the second so the father's name is King Arthur. So I was trying to figure out kind of where King Henry the first went. And I know we had King Henry the first because I would not have named him King Henry the second if there was no King Henry the first. And I do remember him and it hasn't been that long, but yeah, I don't know what happened. So anyway, that's kind of how it started with that. So anyway, Queen Ravenna and King Arthur, they had their three kids. So they had Prince Derek, actually let's go in order. So they had King Henry the second, who was the oldest. Then they had Prince Derek, who was the middle child, and then Princess Belle was their youngest youngest daughter. So they had those three. And then King Henry II, he was married to Queen Sybil. I and mean, we do have their portraits in the ballroom over there, too, so you can actually see what they look like. So he was married to Queen Sybil. Queen Sybil was uh, from... Lady Edith of Windenburg and Duke Richard of Windenburg. So I think she, Lady Edith should have actually been the Duchess. So she was from another noble family in Windenburg. So uh, she definitely married well. and Or I mean the King, King Henry II married well. Um, so that was Queen Sybil. And then they had three kids. The, usually they have about three or four kids. So they had Kellen, King Kellen, who was the eldest. Then they had Prince John, and then they had Princess Mara. I know it's a lot. It's like, oh no, I was going to say, we usually have, like, the oldest is usually a boy. So that's interesting. Um, but, so yeah, then they had uh, Princess Mara of Windenburg. So King Kellen, he ended up marrying, let's see, King Kellen ended up marrying Queen Ilsa of, of Windenburg, who she came from uh, the royal family of Oasis Springs. So these two were the original um, Oasis Springs rulers, Queen Kara and King Cash. So they were our first royal family. This is when the Oasis Springs kingdom became discovered. So their daughter married well. She married into another royal family. And then they had, so King Kellen and Queen Ilsa, they had two kids. Oh, okay, so they didn't have three kids. So they only had two, and who both became rulers as well. So King Henry III and Queen Emily of Willow Creek. So she became the Queen of Willow Creek. King Henry III, he married, let's see, who did he marry? He married their mother. So he married King George's mother, which was Queen Ezra of Windenburg. And Queen Ezra, she came from, uh, so she came from, it looks like her mother. Let's see, let's see. So she wasn't directly from the royal family. Ooh, this sim is not showing up. I guess, I don't know when you, like, let them off into the spirit world if they just don't show up on your family tree anymore. I feel like that shouldn't be the case. They should seriously still keep track of this stuff. So I don't know what happened there. But we had... Princess Elena of uh, Willow Creek. So Queen Ezra, I think this was before I really had... It doesn't look like she married like an actual duke or earl or, or count or anything like that. 
Um, we don't have cows, so I don't know why I said that. But um, it looks like she married just someone who was the child. Let's see, where Sir Simon came from. It doesn't tell you where Sir Simon came from. <laughs> so we're just missing bits and pieces of our family tree. But hopefully this is still interesting and helpful for you guys. Yeah, it doesn't look like her family like goes back very far, whereas ours goes back another generation than theirs does. So anyway, King Henry the Se or the King Henry the Third and Queen Ezra, they had four kids. That was the most kids so far. So they had uh, Marquis Eliza and Baroness Willow Creek uh, of Willow Creek, Baroness Mira of Willow Creek, who actually passed away. And then they had uh, Princess Arya, who is now the queen of Oasis Springs. So it was so interesting to me because Baroness Amira, she was also blonde. And then obviously King, well, I don't know, obviously, if you've seen the earlier episodes, King George was also blonde. And then they had Princess Arya, who was just like really dark and with brown hair, which I have no idea where she, I guess King Henry III probably, because King Henry III was also pretty dark, so... She just looks so much different from the rest of The Sims, but, I mean, clearly she was also part of, like, she didn't come from any different father or anything. So it was just interesting how she stuck out, but then she ended up being the queen of Oasis Springs, so that was pretty interesting as well. So then, of course, we have King George and Queen Isabel and their three, should be three children. What is this? Princess, Princess Anna. Whoa, what? Why am I getting two Princess Annas? This is strange. Where is she? There's a glitch going on here. That's not possible. What the heck? What happened? Okay. Well, they're saying... This is so weird. This is so weird. They are saying that Princess Anna is in here twice. I don't know why. I'm not sure why at all. But anyway... Just ignore her. <laughs> Just ignore that. I wish you could fix these family trees and do something about this because this makes zero sense to me. Um, but they only had three kids, so just, like, ignore her. Um, so they have, of course, Prince Henry and Princess Cora and our Princess Anna and then this random other Princess Anna, which doesn't make sense at all. So, and then, of course, we have um, Princess Alice and our new baby girl, Princess Amira. And I think Princess Alice is actually pregnant again. I'm going to have to check that in just a little bit. But we can just do, like, a quick go-through of where Princess Alice came from. So, her family tree. So, with her family tree, I like that they show you all of this now. And it's not as big because the Willow Creek families and the, o oh, the Oasis Springs families are newer. Um, so they are much more like, like just a smaller family tree and we can see it all on one screen. So we have, uh, Queen Lilia, 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 I guess. I thought it was Lila, but, uh, Queen Lilia, um, and they're not showing who she married. They're not showing a lot of, okay, that one's just loading, but their father is not showing, but he would have been the queen of, or the king of Willow Creek. Um, so the king of Willow Cre Creek and Queen Lilia. Um, and then we have Princess Jane, uh, King Hans of Willow Creek. So that was the king. I vaguely remember him. I don't remember him as much because I didn't play with their um, families, like those kingdom as much. So, um, but then Princess Elena of Willow Creek, which as we saw is somewhat related to our Windenburg side of the family. So then King Hans, oh wait, I wanted to see more of Princess Alice directly. So then they had, oh yeah, okay, so then they had King Hans and then Queen Ingrid of Willow Creek. And then they had a King William of Willow Creek, which is her grandfather. And then Queen Emily of Willow Creek, who actually came from the Oasis Springs family. Um, so that's interesting. So she was a mix between the, oh, oh, so she's actually one of the daughters of King Kellen, which is King Henry's grandfather. So you can see that these are, I mean, they are totally somewhat related. Everyone is somewhat related. It's so interesting to see this. Um, but yeah, so because this is King Henry's, I'm pretty sure, great-grandfather too. So that's so weird. Uh, they are definitely somewhat related. And then we have Queen Emily and King William of Willow Creek. And then, of course, they had King Derek, who married 
Queen Elena of Willow Creek, and Queen Elena is from the Oasis Springs family, so we can get a bit of a glimpse into that as well. So Queen Elena's family, Queen Elena of Willow Creek, uh, her family came from Oasis Springs. So these are her great-grandparents, King Cash and Queen Cara, and then they had King Jared of Oasis Springs, and oh, so if, if Prince Jared, so for those of you who have followed this, if Prince Jared, who is the one who is now the king of Brindleton Bay, who married Nina, who was like the poor girl. Um, but anyway, he would have been King Jared II if he were to be the king of Oasis Springs. So that's just a little, little trivia for you guys. Um, so we have King Jared and then Queen Irina. And then they had King Sahar and Queen Ella who came from, uh, she was part, uh, she was the daughter of a Duke and Duchess of a Willow Creek. So then that's how we got Queen Elena. So Queen Elena, her brother is King Easton of Oasis Springs. So they don't actually get along very well, which I always thought was interesting. They, their friendship is not, not very good at all. So I'm not sure quite what happened with them, but, um, yeah, anyway, so they, and then of course we have Tierra who is uh, the, that would be her, her stepdaughter? No, that is not, I mean, she, just because she's still married to King Derek, I guess it would be her stepdaughter, um, but King Derek, when he had the affair, he had an affair with uh, the Duchess Stella of Oasis Springs, uh, because her husband actually passed away, so then yeah, we have Tiara, which I don't know if Princess Alice, I think she's already met her, I'm not 100% sure, I'm pretty sure she has though, um, so we should probably check up, on, check up on her at some point, but I think that's pretty much it with the, uh, with the family tree, so it's just interesting to kind of see where, like how, how huge this is, because this should go up like way, yeah, there we go, this should go up way higher. So just how far this goes, and um, of course one of the viewers pointed out to me that some people are on here more than once because people are like marrying their second cousins and all of that stuff, so it's that's so interesting to see. And I still have no idea what happened here with Princess Anna and why there's a double. I think it's a glitch, otherwise we have like a long lost um, sister somewhere out there in the world and I just can't find her. So anyway, um, but I will show you guys just really quick the portraits that we have here. So uh, we have who we started with. So this is King Henry. I don't know why we don't have a portrait of King Arthur, um, but we don't seem to. But anyway, that was King Henry. So that's the first king. And he was married to Queen Ravenna, who, as I mentioned, was a vampire. So her urn is like that. I, I think her name, actually, she had two ends in her name. So I think that I don't know if I can I don't know if I can actually change the name of her portrait um, but she should have had two ends in her name um, so it's Queen Ravenna and then they had King Henry II and Queen Sybil so it's just interesting to see what everyone looks like um, and then of course King Kellen and Queen Ilsa and then King Henry III and Queen Ezra and then we have our current reigning king and queen King George and Queen Isabel so they are about to be on that wall soon because King George is, he's going to pass away pretty soon. Um, so that's really sad, but that means that we're going to have a coronation ceremony very soon because Prince Henry and Princess Alice, they will be the new King and Queen of Windenburg when that happens. Um, so I just want to see if Princess Alice is pregnant. She is pregnant. She's in her second trimester already. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're already going to have another child in the family pretty soon. So we'll definitely have to save that for another episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to cut it off here. I know it was super short, but I just wanted to do the whole family tree episode for you guys. Um, and I hope I explained everything pretty much as much as I could. I know it's been a while and I've played this game like on and off, especially in the beginning. Um, so I couldn't quite remember everyone and their story, but I remember most of their story, at least like the important ones. But I hope this helps you guys a little bit with who is related to who. You can of course always refer back to this episode when needed. And for the next episode, uh, we will focus a bit more on um, the new babies that are coming because 
Queen Nina of Brindleton Bay and Prince Jared, they are also pregnant, so they will be having a baby soon. And I think Princess Cora and Prince Edmund, Prince Edmund should be pr proposing very soon as well. So you guys have a lot to look forward to, and we will see you guys the next episode.